What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we head to Spain for our next race in our Daniel Ricardo career mode. If you missed out on the last episode, well, you missed out on Canada. And we had a few issues to deal with. We had a bit of a knackered engine and we managed to somehow finish in 10th despite being hounded in the last few laps from the guys chasing us. But it's another point on the board and another good race from us really overall putting ourselves another point in front of yuki and solidifying that top six for visa cash up uh, racing bulls at the moment in terms of our driver we do have um a couple of rivals now and um, of course we are beating at the moment yuki in our teammate rivalry we're taking on lance stroll in the aston martin as well as trying to take on Oscar Piastri as well. So left, right and centre, we've got rivals everywhere we look. So it's going to be an interesting middle part to the season to see if we can continue on this upward trajectory we've got Danny Rick on. And of course, we'll be keeping an eye out to see if any teams are interested and see if there are any more offers on the table to move at the end of the year. In terms of updates on the car, we do have a couple of things being worked on. Um, nothing in time, I don't think, for the race. Um, but again, a couple of the upgrades now are a little bit more on the expensive side. So we are trying to get a few more savings made on our points when we save them over the weekend to try and get those newer upgrades. So with that being said, I'm going to go get practice underway. I'll, I'll see you in qualifying. So heading into practice, we actually did get a couple of upgrades. We got a weight reduction upgrade and an upgrade to our engine power as well as a bit of durability on the MG UK as well. So starting to gather momentum here in terms of upgrading the car. We're just behind Aston Martin in performance when the last aero comes onto the car. So who knows, by the end of the season, we might be able to get above Aston Martin and Mercedes if the upgrades go well enough. So here we are then, folks, ready for qualifying to get underway. We've got the car set up to where we want it to be. We've also replaced the ICE, the MGUH, and the gearbox heading into qualifying. So hoping that it's going to hold out and give us a bit more performance heading into the track. Um, and to be honest, it's felt pretty good, the car, this weekend. So, yeah, fingers crossed we can put a good lap together. And let's see how we do with our one-shot qualifying. Coming into the first corner then. Feeling pretty stable all around. And it feels pretty stable, the car, which is nice. Doesn't feel like it's too squiggly under control. I think when... I think on the long, high-speed corners, it does have a little bit of management that we need to do to keep it on the track. But overall, I think this weekend's probably the best it's felt for a good while. Again, just trying to be easy. On the accelerator, not going too hard too soon. You can see we're right with Max. And we're third at the minute, coming around the high speed. Oh, hitting the curb a little bit, going a bit wide. Oh, not quite getting that last corner right. And we've lost a few places because of it, but we end up in eighth. Fantastic quality lap, if I do say so myself. So we end up six tenths back on Max. But again, until that high-speed corner at the end, I think we were pretty much matching the McLarens and the Mercedes and the Ferraris. We're wedged between the two Aston Martins at who were 7th and ninth respectively, and we beat Yuki by a few tenths as well, so cannot complain with how that qualifying's gone. So here we go then, cloudy start to the race. We're going on softs. Like everyone around us, and let's see how we do. Got a good start over Russell. We're getting a wedge between him and Stroll, unfortunately, who is a rival, of course. Just got to make sure we get through turn one without any scrapes. And we get through pretty cleanly. 
Although, whoever it was on the inside wanted to take a bit of paintwork off me. And we end up in ninth. So, only a place lost, but again, still feels like a good start. So, coming down the straight now. No DRS activated, of course, in the first lap. But we are running very close to Russell and Stroll. And that's probably going to be our main competition for the race. So we come around the last couple of corners. Heading into the end of lap one now. You can feel a bit more torque now in the car with the new engine components. And it just feels good to have a bit of a fresher engine on. And yeah, now the objective is keeping the DRS with Russell and see where it can take us. So heading to the end of lap two. Going a bit wide again on that last corner, but we've got DRS. But is that going to help us when Russell and Stroll are obviously battling out in front of us? Russell does get ahead of Stroll and there's a yellow flag waved up ahead. I don't know if someone's gone off. Green flag. Back to green though. And now it's Stroll. Hamilton's out. Okay. So one of the Mercs dropping out. I don't know where he was. I think he was behind us actually. Which is interesting because... Uh, yeah, we haven't really seen many mistakes from Hamilton this year. So I don't know if he's been bumped into or... Or what's happened there, but again, trying to concentrate on what's in front of us, not what's behind. So here we go then, down the final straight, ERS, DRS combo to try and increase the gap. And it might be a chance of an overtake at Russell. If he doesn't try and block us off, good lord. I might need a change of underwear after that, ladies and gentlemen, I won't lie. But we've managed to get through it unscathed. Oh, bit of a skid there. Good lord. Just riding a bit too much curb there, I think. Can we look down the inside of Stroll here? Not a... Not a spot we've been able to utilise too much in the race. We managed to make it a pretty nice overtake. And now we've got this long straight to go and we're going to have to utilise the ERS because you figure Stroll, as you can see, is just gaining on us and that pass is going to be so, so easy. And Russell's getting by as well. But we managed to keep in front of Russell. And now back to the same fight we were in before. And this might be the struggle that we might see for the rest of the race is trying to break free. If we do get in front of Stroll, it's trying to break free of him and Russell. And we're into lap five and we've overtaken Stroll. And again, just trying to stay in front of him if we can, but the, the straight's so long, it's almost, almost impossible to, if you were in a second, not to get a good op opportunity to overtake. But we're very much in the fight here for a decent chunk of points. I think top six is probably out of reach. But like we said earlier, the race is very much for Stroll and Russell, I think. And if we can keep in front of them, or even in and around them, really, I, I think we've done a great job here in Spain, if that remains the case. So we've got Stroll a bit further back, heading into lap six. Trying to use as much ERS to keep that gap as open as possible. You can see he just makes up almost half a second by the time we get into that first corner. But these next couple of laps, if we can build a bigger gap heading into that long straight, we might just be able to get him out with that DRS. And hopefully the squabble between Stroll and Russell will bring him in to Russell's clutches, although we've just drifted the corner there a little bit and that'll lose us a chunk of time. So again, all the hard work we're putting in, getting lost by just a little bit of tyre wear starting to hit us, I think. 
Oh, and we hit that curb on the inside and go sailing. So we're coming into lap nine now, and I'm not going to lie, the past couple of laps have just been a bit of a struggle. Tire wear is starting to really hurt his 29, 35%. Stroll's now even fighting to get in front of us. And get the elbows out and keep him behind. And now he's side by side with Russell behind him. And we are just trying to keep this car on the track at the moment. It's uh, not going all plain sailing here. So here we go then, lap 10, and the pits are going to be open. And, more crucially, the gap is 1.4 seconds over Stroll and Russell, so got to try and put as good a lap in as possible here to give us as much of an advantage coming in for the pit stop. And we'll see what the other guys do behind us. So coming to the end of lap 10... And we've got the gap up to about 2.2 seconds. I think them two are squabbling with each other. And that is absolutely fine by me. And we'll come into this pit stop in a pretty good position. And again, hopefully we can put in a good outlap. This is the most crucial point of our race. I think if we're going to have any chance of staying ahead of Russell and Stroll, we've got to ace this pit stop and we've got to ace the outlap. Bit of an issue with the left-hand side front tyre there, and it's a 4.3 stop. We had an issue attaching the left front wheel. I know it's not ideal, but let's try and put that behind us and get back into this race. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the Hopefully that hasn't messed up the race for us. If you cross onto the track. But it's got to be a good outlap here, so let's put it together and see what we can do. Just feel the traction and the and the grip is so much better now. We've got the fresh tyres on. Again, just trying to keep ourselves on the track in a good position to try and get back in front of the other two. But again, pace is in the car, which is the exciting thing. Yuki's in the pits. So coming around this last corner, let's see if we get in front of anybody. Or if we're still behind a few protagonists. There's Russell and Stroll. Oh, we get out just in front of them. Oh... So, it worked out in the end, and we're just Car over a second. So, in the middle of that 14 now, and uh, we've opened up that gap very nicely over Stroll and Russell to almost four seconds, pumping in some 115 lap times now. And yeah, just looking really consistent. And uh, not chewing up the tyre too much as well, which is nice to see. So, couldn't ask for much more than that, really. So, we're into lap 17. Again, pace has remained consistent. Bit more wear in the tyres now. As you would expect. And about being about seven or eight laps in now on these tyres. And, again, just trying to manage the gap behind us. We've tried chipping down the gap to Alonso and Perez. We got to about five seconds behind uh, Perez at one point, but just wasn't wasn't to be today, I think. And I didn't want to push too hard on the tyres and run them out and give Russell and Stroll an opportunity to come back at us, really. Um, but honestly, super happy with how it's gone today. Just got to see out these final few laps and more points will be on the board, I think. So we're heading into the last lap now, and the job is pretty much done. Just need to see out this last lap. I think overall for this weekend, I think it's been a pretty successful weekend for us. I don't think 
you can really complain at any aspect of it. Qualifying was good, practice was smooth. Pit stop obviously was an extra second on there, but again, we managed to put in a good outlap to recover that time and keep our noses in front of Russell and Stroll. Um, and again, it's another tick in the box for us that we've got a new rival in Stroll and we fought him in, in that first half of the race and, and that's what the race has been really. It's, it's been a tale of two halves. The first half we were fighting DRS wise with Russell and Stroll and then the second half we've got those couple of seconds clear within a lap and we've just been able to course really um, and not have to push too hard on the engine and not worn out the tyres weight all that too much. Okay, so Six, yeah. Um, the gap between Alonso and ourselves has always been a big one and I didn't realistically think we'd pick pick ourselves up to get to that point but you can't exactly complain with what we've done this weekend and qualifying 8th and finishing 7th is just the icing on top of the cake and that is a fantastic result for the team so with the result we actually got a double points finish for RB Racing and Sonoda came in 10th so we got 7 points there so again Obviously, we're not cutting down the gap to Aston Martin by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just opening that gap up between ourselves and the rest of the pack. And when we were looking at the performance before in terms of the actual car performance, we are very much in no man's land in comparison to the bottom half of the grid and being way ahead of them and then being way behind in terms of the performance of, of the top half of the grid. So... That's what we're going to try and bridge over the next few races with some of the upgrades that will be coming in. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed we can keep going with this great trajectory that we've got for both ourselves and for the team. As always, folks, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please consider like, sharing and subscribing. Um, support on the channel recently has been phenomenal. We've had some really great numbers, probably best numbers we've had in terms of of subscribers coming in watch time all those metrics um and it's not possible without you guys wanting to watch the video so appreciate all your support and we'll see you in austria for the next race